Lesson 8.3, Unit Fractions of a Whole. A fraction is a number that names part of a whole that is broken into pieces or part of a group. And the word fraction comes from the Latin word frangra, I hope I pronounced that correctly, which means to break. The top number of a fraction is called the numerator. It tells us how many equal parts are being counted. So we have three equal parts, and it's telling us one of the three equal parts is being counted. The bottom number is called the denominator. It tells us how many equal parts are in the whole thing or in the group. So we know there are three equal parts, so that numerator, the top number, tells us it's one of three equal parts. It's one-third. A unit fraction is a fraction that has a numerator of one. Every unit fraction has a one for a numerator. It names one equal part of a whole. Here we have a half. That means we have one part out of two parts in all. We have one-third, that means we have one part of three parts in all. One-fourth would be one part of four parts in all. One-fifth, that's one part of five. One-sixth, one part of six. One-seventh, one part of seven. One-eighth is one part of eight, and so on. The bottom number tells us how many parts there are in all. The top number tells us how many we are counting. So this is one out of two. One half, or we can write it as one half, of a cookie is a fractional part of a whole cookie. One half of a cookie is one part of two equal parts. The cookie was cut in half. We have one of the two parts. That would be a whole cookie, and we split it into two parts and have only one of the parts, we'd have half, one of the two equal parts. Tim's family ordered a pizza. His mother cut it into six equal parts. Tim ate one slice of the pizza. He ate one of the six slices. He ate one-sixth of the pizza. We have, we had one two, three, four, five, six slices of pizza. He ate one of them, so he ate one of the six slices. He ate one-sixth. We can use a unit fraction to find a whole. If this shape is one-sixth of the whole, we know it is one part of six equal parts. When we look at the denominator, this little six, and it'll help us find how many parts there are in the whole thing. So we know there are six equal parts, and that's just one of them. And we can draw six squares to show sixths. Here we have six squares, here we have six squares, or we can make it in a straight line, and one-sixth of them would be one of the six squares. We can draw that number of units as equal parts to make the whole, and we can show one-sixth by shading in one of the parts. We can write the fraction that names the shaded part. One out of five equal parts is shaded. We have one out of five. We have one-fifth. We make a one for the numerator, our fraction line, and a five for our denominator. One part out of five equal parts is shaded. Here we have one out of four equal parts is shaded. This would be one-fourth. We write a one, our fraction bar, and four. One part of four is shaded. In this circle, one out of three equal parts is shaded, so that would be one-third. 
one part is shaded in out of three equal parts. We can draw a picture of a whole if we're given part of it. It says half is this shape. If that's half, then the whole thing is two of these, isn't it? We can go like this, and we can put the other half on. Make it look like a butterfly, can't we? That would be half, that would be whole. Here it says one-fourth is this square. If one-fourth is this square, that means we need four of those to make a whole one. We can make a drawing like this. We could also put four squares all in a row, couldn't we? Horizontally. Emma made lunch for her little sister. She made her a sandwich and gave her a banana. So what fraction of the sandwich did her sister eat? There were two equal parts, and one of the equal parts is missing, so that's the part she ate. She ate one of the two parts. She ate half. What fraction of the banana did her sister eat? There were one, two, three equal parts, and this missing space is the part that she ate. She ate one of the three equal parts. Her sister ate one-third of the banana. Bob and Dave each have a big cookie broken into four equal pieces. They each eat one piece or one-fourth of their cookie. How many more pieces do Bob and Dave need to eat to finish both cookies? We can draw a picture of the two cookies. We can split it into four pieces each with one of the pieces gone from each cookie. We split each cookie into four equal pieces and we have one of the pieces gone from each cookie. Here's Bob's cookie. He has one, two, three pieces still left and Dave's cookie has one, two, three pieces left. That means they need to eat three, four, five, six pieces in all to finish the cookies. Sometimes drawing a picture can help us see what we're trying to find. So remember, a unit fraction is a fraction that has a one as a numerator. And the bottom number, the denominator, tells us how many equal parts the whole thing was split into. We're going to talk about fractional parts of a whole thing in our next lesson. Keep trying. I think you'll do well. And have a nice day. Bye.